What's up guys? Today, I wanted to show you how you could take your physical game collection and turn them all into simple CIA files that you could install with FBI and you can pretty much leave your physical collection alone and keep it in awesome condition while you still game away at all your favorite game titles. If that's something you're interested in, please, please keep watching. The example I'm going to be showing today is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now this already has the Amiibo update downloaded to my 3DS console from the legit eShop. So I'm going to show you that it's still going to be there and still going to work after we rip this to a CIA and then install it with FBI. Go ahead and power on your device while holding start. Now this will either take you into God Mode 9 or Luma Chain Loader. Takes you to Luma Chain Loader, open up God Mode 9. Now go ahead and take your 3DS cartridge and insert it into your Nintendo 3DS. Wait for it to be red. Under the game cart section, you can see it says 1 gigabyte. So while on game cart, go ahead and hit the A button and you'll see three files. Go to the trim.3ds version and hit the A button on it, and now you'll see on the bottom screen, NCSD image options. Go ahead and hit A on that. What we want to do is back it up to a CIA, so what you can do is go to build CIA from the file, and then just hit A, and it'll start building a CIA that you can later install with FBI. Now depending on the size of the game, it shouldn't take too long. You can see it's estimating around 8 minutes, so I'll catch in with you guys in a second. CIA has been completed. Go ahead and hit A. It'll now be in your God Mode 9 Out folder. Now just press Start to reboot. So once your system's rebooted, go ahead and open up FBI. Go down to Title DB and open up Title DB. Once Title DB has loaded, what I'm going to need you to do is press Right once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And then you'll see JKSMK. Go ahead and hit A on it and then install it. Hit any button to continue. Now press B. Now while we're in here, we're going to go up to SD card. Hit A on SD card. And now go down to your GM9 out folder. Now inside of here is going to be your Animal Crossing CIA. So what you can do is hit A on it, and then install CIA. Now that your CIA is installed, push any button to continue. Press the B button once, twice, and now press start to exit. Now we should have some new software on the home menu. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up JKSMK, and I'm gonna unwrap Animal Crossing New Leaf. Real quick, go ahead and just launch the CIA version of Animal Crossing one time, and that'll prepare some save data. So just let it run its thing and get to the main menu. So once you've made it to the title menu, go ahead and just press the home button and then close. Now go ahead and open up JKSMK. You can go to your cartridge and hit A and then go to export save. And it'll export your save data from your cartridge. Hit A. Now hit B and go down to SD slash CIA. And what you want to do is click on Animal Crossing New Leaf and then import the save. So you can see here's the backups. Now my most recent one is right here. Hit A on it. And are you sure you want to import this save? Yes. Okay, it's restored. Now press B. Press B again. And now hit the home, home menu. Go ahead and close JKSMK. So now that we've injected our save file, we're free to open up the new CIA version of Animal Crossing. Now this is just like if you installed Animal Crossing from the eShop and you can just launch it from your system menu. Now this is awesome because it can keep your physical cartridges in better shape if you're a collector and you don't have to worry about handling them all the time. Here's Animal Crossing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit A. You can see it's gotta continue, so if I hit continue, 
there's me. That's my cartridge. So you can see there, I'm Mayor Philip. That's me. I'm really excited that this works so easy and it's just really simple to get this going. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me.